Looks like we're already getting visitors of the Awamao kind. Merry Christmas, Amogus. This would look perfect on my tree. Thank you, suspicious red alien. That's a bit sussy. Creature is the embodiment of modern day humor. My tallest, I have detected an alien life form has just made landfall in the mountains, and it is carrying a deadly pathogen. Seriously? Right. You know what? I'm gonna deal with this myself. I'll be right back. I was just... Where'd he go? Oh, that giant virus monster. I already got rid of it. Oh. I was gonna cut his head off with my lightsabers, Attack on Titan style. I'm sure that would've looked awesome, Santa, but... You've got work to do. Just go and do your thing, and keep delivering on those presents. You're right. I suppose I shall save Christmas in another way. Exactly. If it weren't for you, it wouldn't exist. Oh wait! I almost forgot. Mail. Some stuff for the road. Oh, thank you. Oof. You know, if I still had a fleshy body, I would burn a lot of calories just by all the flying I do. That's why I don't have the stereotypical gut. But anyway, have a Merry Christmas, Dan! Well, I still have this on. I suppose there's one thing left I can do. Jack said he was going to visit here with me today. Well, he'd be surprised for what I have in mind for him. Merry Christmas, my tallest. Merry Christmas, Jack. I have an early gift for you. Follow me. Early gift. I feel a little spoiled. Alright. So does this have anything to do with the fact that I half saved our Earth and half saved someone else's last month? I guess you can say that. But anyway, allow me to explain. So, I remembered something that you said to Jack Killer during our confrontation last month. You said something to him around the lines of how you were able to help him save his world while he was still alive, unlike Kalos, who died before he could see what you and the Corn Bros did for Planet NVIDIA. It really got me thinking, and I decided to bring Kalos back from the dead using the Soul Stone. You what? And you should be here any moment now. You look like 
like you're just in a ghost. I think I literally just have. Then consider me the ghost of Thanksgiving past. <laughs> I don't remember you having a sense of humor. Well, upon seeing what has happened to Nvidia, a sense of levity has overtaken me. Wait, you saw what happened? I briefly brought him to his home so he could see what you and the Cornrows have done for Nvidia. Natalis also told me about when you recently confronted an alternate version of yourself who had a similar problem to mine. You still helped him despite his wrongdoings. And it was in that moment that I realized that my assumptions prior to my demise were correct. I was wrong about you. I had no right to steal the corn, and you and the corn bros had no reason to suffer my unwarranted wrath. You did make quite the mistake, but it's all in the past now. Yes. But now that I have seen the error of my ways, as well as seeing how welcoming the Yellow Masians were of me returning, I will no longer burden otherworldly strangers with my problems. Then let us be allies, and no longer enemies. I second that. And that's the power of the Home Depot. I mean, the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> Not what I expected at all, Dan. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Well, a lot of stuff has happened on Earth in the years since your initial passing, so if you'd like, I'd, I'd like to tell you the strange and bizarre tale of what's happened in this crazy world over the past couple of years. I honestly found the curious. When I became Earth, I did exactly have a scholarly amount of knowledge regarding you. You know, future historians are going to have a rather odd time trying to explain what happened during the pandemic. Wouldn't you agree, Straw Cat? Ave Maria! Couldn't say it better myself. If anybody needs me, I'll be in my place. Except for you! You ain't got nobody! You're a skeleton! <laughs> that pun was in poor taste, my Thomas. Oh, what would you know, Hal? Ultron didn't program you to have a sense of humor. Ah!